All right, guys, this is going to be part two of the uh, forge build. Today, we're going to put on the flanges, cut the hole for it to set down into the uh, cart, and we're going to put the air intake and ash dump pipe on. And we may get to the clinker uh, breaker today. I'm going to use one of them instead of an air grate. Uh, I just like that design a little bit better. All the reading I've done that way, it allows you to break up them clinkers in there and instead of having to fish them or poke them out. So we, for the air intake, we're going to be using this exhaust pipe uh, for the air intake and the ash dump pipe. Now this is two and a quarter inches and I just picked this up at Advanced Auto for like seven bucks. I did double check. It is not galvanized. It is called aluminized steel. Um, and from what I've read on it, it is not toxic for the heat. It is, the aluminized process actually makes it, gives it a higher heat resistance. So we are going to use that. Um, I'll put in the little link where I found about reading about the aluminized steel. That way, if anybody wanted to do their own research on it, they could. But without further ado, let's get going. All right, guys. Well, I forgot to hit the play button when I was welding these on the bottom. So I'm just going to weld them here on the top, and these will be our flanges that hold it in there. Help if I connect it. Okay. Alright guys, now we're going to cut the hole out for our box to set inside of it. Remember, safety first. Alright guys, so we got the other two sides welded on. And now what we're going to work on is these pieces right here. Alright, I just took the angle grinder and ground them out a little bit just circled them to where they sit there and let me get the other pipe and the pipe will sit in there somewhat like that so what we need to do is get a flat surface to set this on and we'll set these right up against it and weld them together and then we'll come over here and weld them to this all right there we go now let's see how our pop fits down in there Still a little hot from a well. All right, right like we wanted it to. There we go, and that's our fire pot set down in there. I'll probably end up putting a small piece here and a small piece here as well. It looks like I made that gap a little bit big, but that'll work. Now we're going to move on to installing our air intake and ash dump. All right, guys, I think you can see that. We just got it lightly clamped. We're just going to take and tack it. Okay. 
All right, now that that's lightly tacked, we'll just take this and set it down on here. Check and see how the fit of it is. And that looks good. So what we'll do is I'll put it back on the platform and finish welding it and I'll be right back to you. Alright guys, as you can see, I got all them pieces welded to it. Now we're going to set it here and weld it to this piece. Um, the clinker breaker will be installed. I'll just drill a hole here afterwards and we'll put a rod through it and we'll put a disc or something in there that we're going to twist. I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to use for that yet. So we're going to weld this and I'll get right back to you. Alright guys. Alright guys. Now we're going to cut put in for our uh, air hole and what I got for that is just one of these little connectors we're going to notch it out the best we can and uh, stick it in there and weld it all around right like that if you had a hole saw this would probably be fairly easy but I don't so I'm going to take the angle grinder and just take some passes around there and see if I can't get that thing notched out. that right there will do it. We can stick her in there and tack weld it. Now guys, I know this probably isn't the best way of doing it. If there is an easier way to cut a circular object in with an angle grinder or any other tips you have, just let me know. Alright guys, now we're going to be welding on the little piece to hold the ash gate. So. Alright. Now what we're going to do I'm going to clean it up a little bit. We're going to take a piece of this that we cut out. And uh, it's going to be hooked on there. And then we'll mark the shape out. And that'll be our ash dump. I'll show you how it works here. Alright guys, so here's the ash dump. Um, as you can see, I just put a hole in there and uh, got this little flap and it's let me see if I can get it over there got th that right there that I just welded on there and drilled and tapped it and what that allows is I'll probably put me a rod through here just to make it a little bit easier but open and shut um, fairly simple design uh, I was gonna try and do something a little bit you know more intricate with a spring but I just ran out of time and I really need to get this forge built so that right there will be our ash dump next we'll be on to our clinker breaker alright guys and uh, for the clinker breaker I've just got a piece of rebar that I bent a little handle on and kinda of rounded off a little more for comfort um, and what I'm gonna do is take this piece of angle that I cut down 
I'm just going to weld it right on there. I'll tack it on these top sides just to hold it and then I'll come and lay a bead of weld inside there. I have to do it inside the actual tube. It'll make it a little difficult and I don't know how much y'all will be able to see. But that way when I turn it, it just kind of crunches them up. Alright, so hopefully you'll be able to see something. If not, I may not even put it in the video. Alright guys, well, I, like I said, I couldn't really get a good shot. But there is the crinker, clinker breaker. Just work right like that to break them all up. Alright guys, well, that does it for the forge build. Um, if you have any questions or have any advice on, you know, things I could have done differently, this probably won't be my last forge build. Um, really it's only the first one I've built like this I had a coffee can propane forge and I took a uh, old barbecue grill and just kinda lined it with some fire bricks and that's what I used for the longest time so I hope you like it um, like I said if you have any questions leave um, leave them in the comments below and have a nice one and remember Knowledge must be tested on the anvil of experience.